Okay, so welcome back to another question on distance rate time. Uh, on this question, it states uh, two trains leave a station traveling in opposite directions. The first train left the station at an average speed of 40 miles per hour. The second train left an hour later with an average speed of 50 miles per hour. Find the number of hours the second train needs to travel before they are 400 miles apart. To give you an idea, we have a little graphic here, a little animation uh, that helps us to see what is really happening here. This is another question with opposite directions. And you see here the trains are heading away from each other with one train starting later than the other and traveling a bit faster. All right, so let's go over how we solve this problem. Remember, the first step that we need to do is always find out the type of motion and draw a sketch. And so we notice that it's an opposite direction, but they are not coming towards each other like the previous video we saw. This time, uh, the objects are going away from each other. And so we just want to see, does this change anything or does our technique of solving actually helps us to solve this problem with no issues at all? All right, so remember the total distance that they will travel is 400 miles. And so it's good to have that in your sketch. Now, you could just do a little brief sketch. I just wanted to make it look really nice. Uh, and so that takes us to step number two. In step two, we need to choose a variable to represent our trains. Remember, there are two trains. And so we're going to let t equal the first train's time, because that's what we're looking for, the number of hours, but also because the second train leaves an hour later, which means it's kind of dependent upon the first train's time. Now, as stated before, it doesn't really matter which one you pick, so don't get confused or irritated or anxious that you can't find uh, the appropriate variable. It just makes it a bit easier that is already set up for us. And as long as you're consistent, you're totally fine. Now that we have T to be the first train's time, well, the second train's time will be dependent upon that, and it's an hour later. So if it's an hour later, it would be one hour less than the time that the first train is going to travel. So if the first train travels 10 hours, then the second train travels 9 hours. And so that simply means T subtract 1. So now that we have our two variables, we want to make our chart that will organize the facts and uh, appropriately label our sketch. And so we make our table, our rate time equals distance table. We have our first and second train. Uh, the first train is given. It says it travels 40 miles per hour. So we put that in there. We have our time for our first train to be T. And so that makes our distance, which is rate multiplied by time, to be 40 T. For the second train, uh, it's given as well 50 miles per hour. So we put that in our rate time table. Uh, the time we found to be t minus 1. And so when we multiply that, remember you're multiplying as a quantity. So you want to use uh, the parentheses to ensure that you properly distribute. And so now we have our distances that the train... Uh, we're just going to shift up for some more room. And so our distances are the first distance, d1, representing the first train is 40t. And so we're going to put that there in our sketch so that we see that the train from the point of the station, which is in the middle, to the final destination is represented by the distance 40 times t. And so similarly, we could do that with the second train. Uh, distance 2 is going to rep be represented by 50 times the quantity t subtract 1. And so there we have it. And you can see clearly in the sketch that those two distances must add up to something. And so that's why we're going to use the sketch in, number, in step number 4 to come up with the equation. When we look at the purple part of the train, that's the first train's distance. And if we add that to the second train's distance, we get the total, which was already given to us, of 400 miles. And that's how we set up our equation. It's simply 40t plus the second train's distance, which is 50 times the quantity t subtract 1. And that's all going to equal up to 400. So now we're going to solve that. I'll do that on the right. I'll make a little box to make it easier to see. And so we have our equation. And then we're going to use our order of operations and all the other operations that we have to correctly solve this equation. So we're going to distribute our 50 into that quantity, so 50 times the t and 50 times the negative 1. And that's going to give us a new equation as we go down to 40t plus 50t subtract 50 equals to 400. Now we can collect our like terms. And if we add the 40t with the 50t, we get 90t. And we write the rest of the equation out in our new line. Now that we have that, you can see that we can still collect like terms. We could get all the numbers on one side and the variables on the left side. And so to do that, we're going to add 50. And what we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other side of the equation to balance it out. 
And so the 50 is going to cancel out. And on the right side, 400 plus 50 gives us 450. And we keep that 90t there. Similarly, we could do the same thing to find t. To get t by itself, we're going to divide because 90t means multiplication. So we do the opposite of that, which is division. We use the same number. And what we do to one side of the equation, we will do to the other. The 90s will cancel out to 1. And so we're left with t equals to 450 divided by 90, which is a nice rounded number of 5. Now be careful. Many people get excited. They're finished, and they think that's the answer. But remember, t represents the first train's time which means we still need to find the second train because that's what the question asks us to do. So to find the second train, remember the second train's time was given by t subtract 1. And since t equals 1, well, that becomes 5 subtract 1. And 5 subtract 1 is simply 4 hours. So that means our final answer for this question is simply the second train needs to travel for 4 hours before they are 400 miles apart. And that's how you do a question where they are heading in the opposite directions away from each other. Okay, tune in for the next video as we continue with the distance rate time problems.